Welcome back. We're taking a look now at today's beauty shot at Shenley Park Oval. Let us know where you like to go to take pictures. Head to our Talk Pittsburgh Facebook page and we'll try and get out there to take a picture there. A local man has a very unique set of skills, spending his time making both chain mail and elaborate globes. Joining me now is the founder of Knights of the Classroom. We have Daniel Andre here. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, you're welcome, Heather. Thank you for having me. It is so impressive to see, but first I have to ask you about the name Knights of the Classroom. How did you come up with that name? Well, I uh, actually have a degree in education, mm -hmm. so I like to make a difference in children's lives. And blending the two together, working with my hands, making globes and making chain mail, and actually teaching about it and teaching history in the schools. And we also teach about the space program and about the solar system. So it's a perfect blend of several interests of mine coming together to help raise tomorrow's leaders. I love this. I mean, it really is. I don't know anybody else who's making globes and chain mail. So this is really <laughs> well, cool. Well, we, we have the perfect mixture right there. The and planet just, Saturn in chain mail. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> fascinating. So where did your love and your interest for all of this come from? Well, to be honest with you, I, I really wanted to serve the Lord and make a difference in kids' lives because there's so much brokenness in our world. And I know, you know, growing up and seeing a lot of people going through some hard times, I really felt that it would be good if I can actually touch children and make a positive difference to mm -hmm. show them that they can actually take their interests, take their likes. And it's not wrong to be a geek. It's not wrong to be interested in science, yeah. you know, and I think that if if people would just pursue their interests, honestly, just really pursue their interests and go for what they really want, because how much how many people do things and don't enjoy them? Right. We get you one know? life, right? That's right. Make it make fulfilling. the most of it. Make it make the most of it. So uh, you, you have some globes here. Tell us what you brought yes. and well, what you make. Uh, yes. Again, this is Earth, of course, our blue I know marble. That one. Yeah. This is Mars, and right now the <laughs> Artemis mission is being very successful and it's being pushed through. That's the first step. We're going to the moon. After 50 years, we're going back to the moon. The next step is Mars. So this is actually the future. That's and cool. this globe in the middle is actually also Mars. This is actually a, a globe from 1896 and 1897. Percival Lowell, who formed a lot of our modern ast astronomy, he actually thought there were canals on Mars. And so this is a historical globe of what we thought Mars was like before the spacecraft after we actually got there. Wow. On the bottom, of course, is the moon, our natural satellite. Yeah. And over here is Jupiter. And over here is just a fun globe. I like entertaining kids sometimes. And this is, this Can is exactly, yes, please. This would be what we would be like if these were oceans, if North America and South America was the oceans and all the oceans was land. So an artist friend of mine drew that and I made a globe just so I could tell kids, hey, you know, things could change. Our and planet is constantly evolving. Who knows? In a couple of million years, maybe things will be flip flopped. And we just and everybody have all laughs. this land in. Yeah, it's just fun. Yeah. But you make a, a bunch of different references like this. You have a, a bunch of different globes. Absolutely. I have and... every mapped body in the solar system. And when we go to schools and we talk about it, we go through all the different, you know, planets and moons. And I give trivia, like, for example, I don't know if you've learned this when you were a kid, but how many moons does Earth have? We are taught that it has one. Right. However, we currently know now that it has three. Stop. 2016 HO3 was discovered in 2016, and it is a temp it's a, called a quasi-moon. Um, uh, 2023, we just discovered a third moon. It's been with us for a thousand, couple thousand years. It will be with us for a couple thousand more until it finally breaks free. Those are called quasi-moons, but we're learning every day. I didn't Every, know that. I just you learned go. today. There you go. That's fair. And we go through everything from the sun all the way out. And again, everything, I'm, I'm already outdated. I mean, today we're making a new discovery. That's how fast we're learning. Our knowledge base in the sciences is doubling every 12 to 16 months, your, doubling. Your passion is infectious. I love this <laughs> so much. I am inspired by you. Well, that's, that's the goal of a teacher. Yes. You know, yes. We can't teach anything, but if we can motivate, Learning is intrinsic. It comes from inside. Yeah. And if I can turn you on to learning, you're going to come back and teach me things. That's and that's nice. what we're doing, raising tomorrow's leaders. So tell me about the chain mail, because you make this too. So Here what, it is. Yeah. <laughs> this so is actually a vest, and that's what I do. Over there on that table, well, the perfect blend is Saturn. Of course, that's yeah. a sculpture, which actually took me two weeks to make. It's, it's a very laborious process. But of course, I had to bring in the black and gold because Pittsburgh, that's right. our, it's in our blood, you know. Yeah. Um, that's an actual necklace made from a weave that has been around for over a this thousand so years. Neat. And that's when we make the chain mail. Of course, we, I, I try to stay with weaves that have been forgotten or relearned, but, but historical weaves that have come out of the past. So it's actually bringing the past 
into the present. How do you even do it? How do you, how well, do you make this? It's simple. I start with a rod and wire. Make a spring. After you get the spring done, you take wire cutters or a saw and you cut the rings down. But for jewelry, you have to actually hand file every edge of every single ring. After that, you just weave them together. I only know one weave. It's called ring into ring. And you have <laughs> some for dogs too? Oh, yes, yes. This is actually <laughs> in our assemblies when we go to the schools. This is a recreation of a real suit of armor from, go ahead, from 1,500 years ago. A Roman, high-ranking Roman legionnaire loved his dog took him to war and his soldiers made armor for him. Did and that's dog... called Lorica Plumata. That is a form of armor out of the Roman Empire. How did the dog fare in war? Didn't get hit by an arrow. If it oh, did, really? it glanced off. Oh, and if really? you feel, it's not as heavy as you think that it is. It's a little heavier yeah. than I thought. Honestly, oh, really? okay. like when I picked it up, I, didn't, I just didn't expect it. But you work with it, so yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm so. in it every day. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is fascinating oh, it's my stuff. Pleasure. It was my such pleasure. a pleasure to meet you. Keep you rocking also. it, inspiring Thank kids. You.